Hello everyone, Amanda here from Merry Go Round Storytelling and Four Fun Fridays. And today I am going to tell you the story of Hetty's hats are hat-tastic. Have you got your hats with you? You have? Brilliant. Now, don't worry if you haven't got a hat with you today. You could always pause the video and pop up and get one. Or, even better, you could make your own. I've got a little video called How to Make Four Simple Hats Using Two A4 Pieces of Paper. So you could use that to make a simple hat and then come back and help me tell the story. Now, later on, when you have your hat, I'm going to ask you to put it on. But you have to wait until I ask you. Just leave it by the side of you for now and we'll come to that bit later on in the story. So I think we're almost ready to begin. And I'm going to need your help. So if I'm doing actions or special words, do you think you could join in with me? So if I was to say, um, say, could you put your hand on your head? Could you put your hand on your head like this? You can. Brilliant. How about putting your hand on your nose? What about your knees? What about waving? Hello. Brilliant. I can see you're going to be fantastic storytellers. So I think we should start to tell our story. And let's start from the beginning, which I always think is the best place to start with a story. And we're going to start with a picture book. Can you hold the book shut like this in your hands? You've got your hands shut. Brilliant, right? So we have our picture book or story book. And now we're going to open our book up like this. Ah, oh, can you see those words and those pictures inside? Now, I want you to have a look at those words. They're magic words. Now, I want you to put your book on your head like this. And as it's on your head, all of those words start to fall out and tumble down. They're tumbling and they're tickling your shoulders because they're all magical and they're going to tickle your tummy and they're going to tickle your knees. And you can see all those words on the floor. Now, what I want you to do is pick up some of those words. Look, there's one there. Oh, there's another magic word there. Have you picked up? You pick them up. OK, have you got them in your hands? What I want you to do now, I'm going to count to three and on three you're going to throw those words at me and I'm going to try and catch them and we're going to use those words to start the story with today. So are you ready? Don't throw it yet. Are you ready? OK, here we go. I'm going to count to three, then you're going to throw them. I'm going to catch them. OK, here we go. One, two, three and throw. Oh! I'm going to rub those four words together and let's see what you have thrown me today. Oh, these are perfect words to start a story with. Are you ready? And here we go. Once upon a time, there was a lady and her name was Hetty. Hetty was a hat maker. Hetty the hat maker loved making hats and that was lucky because everybody loved Hetty's hats. They were a big hit and everybody said Hetty's hats are hat-tastic. Do you think you could join in with me and say Hetty's hats are hat-tastic? Are you ready? Right, stand up, stand up. Here we go. Everybody said Hetty's hats are hat-tastic. Brilliant. Now, Hetty made all sorts of hats for all sorts of people. She made tall hats and short hats, wide hats and thin ones. She made bowler hats and peaked caps and hats with a brim on. She made hats with a feather and hats with a bow. She made pointy hats 
and floppy hats and hats just for show. Ta -da! And everybody said, are you ready? Hetty's hats are hattastic. You know, you're really good at this. Shall we do that rhyme again so you just learn it? So next time I do it, you can join in with all the actions. So it goes like this. It goes, she made tall hats. Can you stretch up really tall? And short hats. Well done. Wide hats and thin ones like that. She made bowler hats and peaked caps. That's like that. And ones with a brim on. Well done. She made hats with a feather and hats with a bow, pointy hats and floppy hats and hats just for show. Ta -da! And everybody said, what did they say? Hetty's hats are hattastic. Well, Hetty had just moved to a new house, a new town. It was a, in a little village called Ishtar in a big country called India. She was so excited. She'd always wanted to move there, but she was also a little bit nervous as well because you see, she didn't know anybody there and she was worried that nobody would buy her hats because nobody knew who she was. Now, every year, just outside Ishtar, there was a festival. That would be the perfect place to sell my hats, thought Hetty. So a few weeks before the festival, Hetty started to make lots and lots of hats. And as you know, she made hats for all sorts of people. She made tall hats and short hats, wide ones and thin ones. She made bowler hats and peaked caps and hats with a brim on. She made hats with a feather and hats with a bow. She made pointy hats and floppy hats and hats just for show. Ta -da! Well, if she was going to make all of those hats, she was going to need lots and lots of material. So she got her material and she got some velvet. She got some beautiful silk. She then found, oh look, some lovely, brightly coloured organza. Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh look, she found some patterned chiffon. Here it is. That's very nice. Oh, and some sparkly material. That's always useful. And she found lots and lots of netting. Oh, you can see through that one. And then she found some star printed satin and also lots and lots of good old sturdy cotton. Then she needed things to decorate the hats with. So she got her box full of things and she found feathers and ribbons. She found oh pipe cleaners and oh, what else did she find oh, oh sequins she found pom-poms and lace oh and what's in here oh, beads she found lots and lots of beads oh and all of these things she used to make the hats look beautiful and really really special then once she'd got all her stuff, she needed to put the hats together. So she got her needle. Can you all pretend to hold a needle in your hand like that? Well done. Now we're going to get some thread and we're going to thread our needle with our thread. So we're just going to make the end a little bit wet because then it's easy to put through. <clears throat> so we're going to thread through like this. Oh. And we're going to pull it all oh, fantastic and then we're going to tie a little knot in the end and now we're ready to sew our fabric so can you pretend to be holding some fabric in this hand like this some material and then you've got your needle in the other hand and we're going to push down and pull it up oh, 
fantastic and then down again and up again oh, and one more time and you know as Hetty sewed she liked to sing a hat making song and her hat making song went like this my hat it has three corners three corners has my hat and had it not three corners it would not be my hat do you think you could sing that with me? Okay, here we go. I'll sing it slowly. My hat, it has three corners. Three corners has my hat. And had it not three corners, it would not be my hat. You are very good at singing. Are you good at doing actions as well? Because this song has actions to it. Let's put our material down on the floor over here. And let's do the actions. They go like this. My hat, it has three corners. Three corners has my hat. And had it not three oh, corners, it would not be my hat. Those actions look a bit tricky, but they're actually quite easy. I'll go through them really slowly. So for hat, you just tuck your head like this, and then it's got three corners. So we need one, two, three fingers. And then we make the corners with our elbow because it's kind of a corner shape like that, corners. And then had it not three corners, it would not be my I think we've got them. So let's try that again. Are you ready? My hat, it had three corners. Three corners has my hat. And had it not three corners, it would not be my hat. Brilliant. Should we do it really quickly? Right, I might go wrong but we'll give it a go. Are you ready? Here we go. My hat, it has three corners. Three corners has my hat. And had it not three corners, it would not be my hat. Oh, three. Right, let's get back to the story. So it was the morning of the festival and Hetty had made all her amazing hats. She had made tall hats and short hats, wide ones and thin ones. She'd made bowler hats and peaked caps and hats with a brim on. She'd made hats with a feather and hats with a bow. She'd made pointy hats and floppy hats and hats just for show. Ta -da! Then she got all of her hats together and she put them into lots and lots of boxes like this. Can you put them into lots and lots of boxes? Throw them in, that's it, throw them in. And then she has to push them down. Oh, and she put the lid on like this. <sighs> One box full of hats. Should we fill up another box? Okay, have you got your boxes? Have you got your hats? Right, let's throw them in. Yeah, in they go. All those hats in. And we need to push them down. Push, 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 push. And put the lid on. <gasps> right. <sighs> Should we fill up another box? Okay, got your box and Let's throw those hats in. In they go, all of those hats. And we're going to push them down. Push, 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 push. Put the lid on and put it over there. One last box. Are you ready? Fill it up with hats. Here we go. In, 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 in. And push them down. Oh, and put the lid on oh, and put them over there. Fantastic. Right. Now we're ready to load up the car. So Hetty filled up all of her car with all of the boxes. And she had so many that she even had to put one of the boxes in her boot. Whew. Just as she was leaving, she looked down on the floor. Oh no, she thought. I've forgotten to pack some of my hats. Oh well, there's no room in the car. I'll just have to wear them. So she picked one up and she put it on her head like this. Ah, well, that's okay, she thought. 
Oh, look, there's another one. Right, I'll put this one on my head as well. Okay, here we go. Oh, dear. oh no, there's another one. Well, I'm going to have to take all my hats because I need to sell them all. I need to make lots of money today. Oh, oh no, there's another one. Oh, she finding hats that she'd forgotten to pack. Right, oh look, I've forgotten this one as well. Well, there's nothing for it. I'm just going to have to put that one on my head as well. Oh, that my, oh, one last hat to take. Right, here we go. One last hat. Let's put this on my head like this. Oh, fantastic. Right, now that is all my hats and we're ready to go. Hetty got into her car and she held onto the steering wheel. Can you hold onto the steering wheel like this? And she turned on the engine. Can you turn on the engine? And she started to drive to the festival. Now, I want you to pretend you're driving a car with me. Can you do this? That's it, and we're bumping up and down. And we're driving our car down the road. Oh no, but we're coming to a corner and we have to go round the corner. Can you tip this way? And round the other way, that's it, can you tip? Oh no, we're coming to a hill. So everybody, can you lean backwards? Whoa, and we're going down the other side. Whee! And it's like a roller coaster, we're going up the hill again. Whoa, and down the other side. Whee! And we're driving our car. And we're going round the corner. And round the, uh-oh, we're coming through a bumpy road. <laughs> that's it, we're bumping up and down. Whoa, that's very bumpy. And we go around the corner again, this way, and this way. But then all of a sudden, oh, Hetty's car started to really bump up and down. Oh no, she thought, the wheels come off. She stopped the car, she put the brake on, and she got out and she had a look and oh, she was right. The wheel had come off. Oh no. Never mind, she thought. I have a spare wheel in my boot. I will just get it out. So she opened the boot and, oh, luckily there was a spare wheel. But unluckily, all the hat boxes were on top of it. So she had to lift them up. They're very heavy and put them down. And there's another one, let's lift it up. Can you lift it up with me? Oh, and put it down over here. Oh, all that lifting had made her feel very, very hot. So she took the hats off and she just put them down on top of the box like this. Then she got the wheel out and she started to fix the car. Now, meanwhile, on the other side of the road, a group of animals had been watching her as she'd broken down and got all the hat boxes out of the car. And those animals were called the Silly Squad. And that's going to be you. You're all going to pretend to be the Silly Squad. And you can pretend to be any animal you like. You could be a giraffe. You could be a panda. You could be a frog. Has anybody got a favourite animal? You have? Well, why don't you pretend to be that favourite animal? And now you can join in with the story as your favourite animal. Now, you're going to be part of the Silly Squad. And the Silly Squad are a group of animals who like to do silly things. And do you know what? When they saw Hetty's hats, that gave them an idea. Now, have you got your hat with you? You have? Right, don't pick it up yet, but in a minute I'm going to ask you to put it on. Now, if you haven't got a hat, don't worry, you could just pretend like this, which will be good as well. So, we're going to do that in one minute. But first of all, we have to get the hats. So what happens next is the animals see the hats. Are you looking? 
Can you see them? <gasps> they start to giggle. And they start to whisper to each other like this. Whisper, 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 whisper. Can you pretend to do whispering? Whisper, 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 whisper. And they have an idea. They nod and then they sneak. Shh. Very quietly. Shh. Can you be really quiet? Very, ooh, very, very quiet. They tiptoe all the way over to Hetty's car. Then each animal picks up one of Hetty's hats. Then they sneak back to where they were on the other side of the road and they put the hat on their head. So this is the point. Have you got your hat? I want you to put your hat on your head like this. And they looked very, very funny indeed. And they can't stop laughing. Well, meanwhile, Hetty has finished fixing her car. She wipes off her hands like this and she goes to put her hats back into the boot. But she sees that some of her hats are missing. Then she looks up and over the other side of the road, she sees all of the animals and they're laughing. Are you wearing my hats? She thinks. They were wearing her hats. Well, that made Hetty very, very cross. So she put her hands on her hips like this. Well, do you know what? Seeing Hetty being so cross and putting her hands on her hips just made those animals giggle even more. And they decided to play a silly game. They decided to start copying her. Hetty went like this and the animals then copied her and they went like this as well. Can you do it? And they were still giggling. Have you got your hands on your hips? <gasps> Hetty saw that they were copying her. She was shocked. So she went oh, like this. That's one of my favourite bits. Can you do that as well? She went oh, and so all the animals go. Oh. Then Hetty stands up and she says, are you copying me? And what do you think the animals said? <laughs> You're right. They said back, are you copying me? Can you say that to me? Are you ready? Are you copying me? Brilliant. Stop copying me, says Hetty. But the animals just say, stop copying me back to her. Hetty puts her hand on her mouth again like this. And so do the animals. Then she wags her finger at them. But the animals just wag their fingers back. Then Hetty starts to shake her fist and the animals shake their fists back. By this point, Hetty is so cross that she starts jumping up and down like this. And guess what? Those animals, they just start to jump up and down as well. Well, soon the whole of the silly squad are jumping up and down. And remember, they're all still wearing Hetty's hats. And all that jumping in the funny hats starts to make Hetty giggle. <laughs> she can't be cross anymore. <laughs> Those animals look so funny jumping up and down in her hats that she starts to laugh. And then she has a brilliant idea. Stop, she says. You can keep the hats if you promise to come with me to the festival. Well. The silly squad thinks that's a brilliant idea and so much fun. If you come with me to the festival now, says Hetty, you can keep those hats, but I want you to march in with me so everybody can see the hats that you are wearing. Well, the silly squad loved marching, so they agreed. It was going to be a grand parade. They couldn't wait. Hetty got back into her car 
and slowly started to drive off with all the animals marching behind her like this, wearing the hats. Can you do marching? Have you still got your hat on? They marched into the festival. And when everybody at the festival saw the animals wearing the amazing hats, well, they all wanted to buy one and have one as well so they could join in the fun. Soon, Hetty start to sell, started to sell all her hats and people bought tall ones. They bought short ones. They bought wide ones and thin ones. They bought bowler hats and peaked caps and hats with a brim on. They bought hats with a feather and hats with a bow. They bought pointy hats and floppy hats and hats just for show. Ta-da! Well, it was so much fun and turned into the biggest parade ever. And you know what? Every year after that, they had a big parade at the festival, a big hat parade. And of course, everybody wanted to buy one of Hetty's hats, because as you all know, Hetty's hats are hat-tastic. And that is the end of our story. Well, Thank you so much for joining in. Do you know what? You are a brilliant, brilliant storytellers. I can see that you love stories. Thank you. And if you made a hat, well, thank you so much. You look amazing. Well, that's the end of our storytelling today, but I do hope that I'll see you again soon. Have a lovely day and happy storytelling. Bye-bye.